Good morning, everyone. How are you all? Good morning. Hi. Hi. How about you, ma'am? I'm doing good. Thank you very much, my dear students. All right. So in the previous session, we have started with a new lesson. That is lesson number 12. The title of the same being a good play. A good play, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And in the previous session, we have learned about the first two stanzas of the poem. So before moving ahead with the class, I want to make sure that you all have understood and remember whatever has been taught. Okay. Now, please close your books. Those who have opened the books, please close them. I need to make sure that you're clear with whatever we have learned before, before I continue with the session. Ready? Good. Agnel Gills, unmute your device and tell me, where did the boys build the ship? Pay attention to the question word, where? Where did the boys build the ship? Where did the boys build the ship? Agnel, can you hear me? Agnel Gills. Agnel is facing network issues, I guess. His video is stuck. Oh. Okay. Catherine, give me the answer to the same question. In his imagination. No. I asked you where. Where? In which part of the house? Upstairs. I need the answer in complete sentences only. All of you know that very well, right? Why don't you keep that instruction in mind? Yeah. Learn to frame sentences. He Where built... did the boys build the ship? The boys build the ship upstairs. Upstairs. Is it upstairs or upon the stairs? Upon the stairs. Say it once again. The boys build the nest. The boys. The, the boys build the ship upon the stairs. Yes, very good. Okay, thank you. Mayoga, unmute. Um. What was the ship made of? The ship. Unmute, unmute. Hmm. Unmute. Don't touch the speaker icon again. Yeah. The ship made of was was uh, the ship. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The ship was made up of. Made of hmm. Mm. Uh, Some kind of chairs. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the ship was made of pause. Uh, mm. uh, chairs from which room? Stairs. Hmm, my yoga has not gone through the poem, I think. Okay, mm. Erilyn, try to give me the answer. The ship was made up of mm. the chairs mm. in the back bedroom. Mm. Yes, very good. You can also summarize it in one line and say the ship was made up of the back bedroom chairs. Back bedroom chairs. Okay, Harley. Okay, yeah. ma'am. Anyway, good effort. Did you understand the answer, Mayuga? Mayuga? Okay. Esther, unmute your device. What food did they carry with them? Yes, ma'am. What food did they carry with them? 
food only the food items you have to speak about here ma'am say hmm ma'am fly hmm only the four items you have to speak about an apple and a slice of a cake yes very good say it in a complete sentence once again an apple no no what food did they carry with them they they carry they carry hmm carry what is the past tense of carry carry yes they carried hmm now you put in the words that you used before an apple an apple mm -hmm. and a slice of a cake ah with with slice of a cake with them with them with them okay see it's written here very clearly in the question what food did they carry with them right say the answer one more time yes sir they carried they carried carry bread and slice of a cake and a slice of cake with them with them okay okay good effort thank you thank you ma'am okay so my dear students let me share the screen i'm happy to notice that most of you remember what all we have learned nivedh unmute your device and read the first stanza one more time why did the boss... no no listen to what i am saying i want you to read the first stanza of the poem one more time read it the first to four lines we built a uh -huh. ship up the stairs uh -huh. all made of the back bedroom mm. say not bedroom bedroom bedroom, bedroom. yeah room mm. yes and mm. built in full also for pillow pillows pillows mm -hmm. to go a sail to go a sailing to go a sailing on on and sailing on the on the pillows Billows. Do you remember the meaning of billows? What is the meaning of billows? Water. Hmm. Water. Hmm. Billows are something that appear on the water. That's right. But what is it? Remember, you also had shared some experience. The in the earlier session. about going to a river near your house what appear on the surface of the water when the water moves what is the word for that billows yes sahrish tell me the meaning of billows waves large waves billows yeah. are large waves yes thank you niveed repeat large waves yes billows are large waves try to remember the meaning okay niveed yes yeah thank you arjun unmute and read the second Can stanza can you mute yeah please we took a swear and serving nails mm -mm -mm. s a w so 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 and so and sir wheeling mm. ah ha ha wait Se we rel several several we nails yes. and water in the no 
Nursery. 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 Hmm. Pail. Pails. Nursery yeah. pails. Nursery tails. Mm -hmm. And Tom said, let us mm -hmm. also take an apple and a slice mm -hmm. of it. And a slice of cake. And, and a slice, slice of, of cake. cake. Mm -hmm. Slice of cake, cake. Uh -huh. which was, was not for mm -hmm. Tom. Which was? E N N F enough enough for Tom and me mm. to go and nail mm -mm -mm. to go don't be in a hurry Arjun read it correctly to go a sailing yes on till till T T till T okay so what all did the boys take with them they took a saw this is a yeah. saw it's a sharp long blade which is generally used for cutting wood or trees yeah. okay yeah. and several names several means many yeah. names these are names yeah. they also took water in the nursery pails nursery pails are small buckets which are used for clay nursery yeah. pails what are they small yeah. buckets which are used for clay and at that time tom said tom is one of the two boys who were playing tom said let us also take an apple that means one apple and a slice of cake of that means cake. a slice of cake means one piece of piece cake. cake yes slice means a piece of cake which was which was enough for tom and me, me to go a sailing go on, on till tea. till tea yes so arjun tell me till what time did the boys plan to go sailing till what Man, time mm. which was enough mm, no, for no 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 uh, till what time till tea yes they were planning to go sailing or play the game of sailing only till tea time mm. hope everybody is able to remember yes what all we have learned mm. yes okay good arjun thank you you're trying to read well only you went wrong only while reading certain words that you have to keep the correction in mind all right arjun yeah thank you Ivan, unmute. Read the third stanza. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We sailed along for days and days mm -hmm. and had the very best of plays. But Tom fell out and hurt his knee. So there was no one left but me. Fantastic. You're reading it very well. Thank you, Our my dear. Feels done. Ah, who's that? The last name that you read is the name of the Robit. Robit. Not Robit. Okay. Robert. Robert. Lu. Lu. Lewis. Lewis. C Stevenson. Yeah, read it from the board. Yes, ma'am. Robert. Mm -hmm. E R T. Robert. Robert. Robert Louis Stevenson. 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 Whenever you come across a difficult word, break it into syllables and read. Okay. Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson. Understood, Ivan? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Now, in the last stanza of the poem, we understand that the same play of going sailing, the same play. Keep it in mind, the children are playing. The boys are playing. We sailed along for days and days. That means the boys continued with the game of playing, sailing. 
for many days together. Days and days means many days together. And had the very best of plays. Children are always playing something or the other. Once they get bored of one particular game, they think about something new to be done. The same way, these children were also playing continuously different kinds of games. And what they felt is that this play of sailing was the very best of all the plays they had done till date. They had the feeling was this, this was the best game they, that they had ever played. But one fine day, Tom fell out of the ship. Did he actually fall out from the ship? Where did Tom fall out from? From where did Tom fall out? Who can give me the answer? From where did Tom fall out? Abha, unmute. Yes, ma'am. From where did Tom fall? From the ship. Hmm. Was it the actual ship? No. Then? From where? Where was the ship built by the children, by the boys? Uh, in the back bedroom. No, no, no. In which part of the house? Upon the? Upon the stairs. Upon the stairs. That means, from where did Tom fall out? Upon the stairs. Hmm. Tom fell out, fell out from the, the stairs. stairs. And what happened when he fell from the stairs? He, he hurt, hurt his knee. He hurt his knee. knee. Yes, very good. So finally, there was no one left but me. Who is me here? Me. Me is the person who is reciting this quote, right? Me. Me means the person who is reciting this poem, the poet. So when Tom fell out of the ship and hurt his knee, there was only the poet who was left all alone to play the game. Hope all of you are clear with the poem. Yes? Do you have any doubts about the same those who have any doubts regarding it may raise your hands and get your doubts cleared. Any doubts? Very simple one, right? Yes, but there are many things that you need to keep in mind. Yes, Sahirish? Unmute. What is the meaning of so? So is a, this one. It's a long blade, long sharp blade which is generally used for cutting wood. Wood. Okay. okay. Clear now. Okay. Very yeah, good. Thanks. This way. Thank welcome. You, welcome, my dear. This way, all those who have doubts in, my, in their minds, do not keep the doubts to yourself. Get them cleared. All right. Are we ready to move ahead with exercises? Yes. We have already discussed the meanings of these words. I'm going to ask you all. Rohan, unmute. Tell me the meaning of billows. Billows. Rohan. Mm, billows. I want all of you to get ready with your rough notebook. Rough notebook. Write the meanings only in the rough notebook now. Later on, you must copy them neatly into the literature notebook. Don't scribble it on the literature notebook now. Rohan. Come on, what is the meaning of billows? Those who know the answer, raise your hands. Billows. Yes, Niveda. A large wave. Mm, not a, large waves. Large billows. Waves. S means plural. Large waves. Billows are large waves. Repeat, Niveed. Billows are? Billows are large, large waves. waves. Yes, very good. Okay, thank you. Anna Maria, what is the meaning of saw? Ma'am, I can I doubt. Yes, I have a doubt. I have a doubt. Yeah, what is it? Meaning of me. Meaning of? Me. 
K N E E. Me, me, yeah. the parts that joins in between your leg. Me, me. Understood. Yes. The middle part of your leg, from where it bends. Try to bend your knee. Bend, bend your leg. Bend. Hold your leg. Yes. The part which joins, which connects the lower part and the upper part of the leg, it's called the knee. Understood? Knee. Yes. I have a doubt. That... Yeah. What is it? Oh, you had a doubt about it. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Anna, tell me e the meaning of saw. So. Yeah. Thin, mm. a long thin blade. Mm. Used for what? Used for cutting wood. Mm. Wood, yes, very good. A long blade used to cut wood. Ma'am, we have to write it in the rough book. Yes. All of you must write with me. Okay, ma'am. Long blade used to cut wood. W O O D. Long blade used to cut wood. Thank you, Anna. Aradhya Anmuj, tell me the meaning of nails. Nails, small metal mm. object used to keep two pieces of wood mm. together. Okay, fine. We can make it short and right. Nails are small. Metal objects used to fix F I X. Fix means to repair things. Fix means to repair. Things. When something is broken, we fix it, right? We get it repaired. That is called fixing. Fix. Repair. Okay. okay. Thank you, my dear. Shriya Anmyot, what are nursery pails? What are nursery pails? What are nursery pails, Shreya? Nursery pails means... Mm. We discussed it just now. Nursery pails. What are nursery pails? Nursery pails. Mm. See, look uh, at your book on page number 24. Look at the image. 24. What are nursery pails? When you look at the image, you should be able to remember. Ma, my book was missing. What are these? Uh, buckets. Hmm. Use for? Uh, what did the you boys use it for? Uh, they used for mm. uh, small mm. buckets used for playing. Buckets used for playing. Yes. Nursery pails are small buckets used for playing. Repeat the meaning, Shreya. Yeah. Small bucket used for playing. Not bucket. Pails. Small buckets. 
small buckets. Uh, use for? Play. Use for playing. Small nursery pails. Yeah. For playing. Yes. Nursery pails are small buckets used for playing. Okay. Thank you. Abigail, unmute. What is the meaning of slice? Slice. Slice. A slice of cake means what? Slice. Look at the image. A slice cake. of cake means? Small. Mm. A small cake. A small? A small cake. Piece. Piece. P I E C E piece. P I E C E piece. Look at the image. Isn't this a small piece of cake? Yes. Yeah, that is called a slice of cake. Understood, Abigail? Yes. A small piece of cake is called a slice of cake. Okay. Renfred, unmute your device and read question number one. Okay, ma'am. Why did the boys build the ship? Hmm. The boys build the ship to go a sailing on the seas. On the there is a particular word, specific word used there. To go a sailing on the it is better that we use the same word. What you said is right, but as there is a particular word given there, mentioned there in the poem, why don't you try to use that word? The boys mm. built a ship. Yes. To go sailing. Yes. On the seas. Instead of the word seas, why don't you specify the word? Billows. Yes. Yes. Specifically, they wanted to go a sailing on the large waves. So that they get to enjoy a little more. Okay. Okay. No, they just they didn't want to just go into the plain sea. They wanted to play on the large waves, right? Moving yes. up and down. That is more fun. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, my dear. That is the reason I asked you to specify that one. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you, my dear. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. The boys built the ship. To go, the boys build the ship to go sailing. S A I L I N G. Sailing on, O N on, the billows. B I L L O W S. Once again, what is the meaning of billows? Large waves. Yes, large waves. Billows means large waves. Okay, good. Aradhya, thank you. Emmanuel, unmute your device and read the second question. Yes, ma'am. What did the boys use to fill up the ship? Yes. The boys used the boys used the sofa fill. The sofa pillows to fill the ship. Fantastic. The boys used sofa pillows. The boys used sofa pillows to fill up the ship. F I L L. Fill it. Oops, sorry. To fill up the ship. The boys used sofa pillows to fill up the ship. Harilyn, what happened? Did you complete writing? Yes. 
Evelyn, unmute your device and read question number three. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Spain, when were the boys planning to go sailing? Yes. Can you repeat the question? Till what is the first when, word? Till. Yes. Till when were the boys planning to go sailing? Yes. Tell me the answer. The boys. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Planning. No. Were. Till when were. Yeah. Boys. Mm. Uh, where? Were. Were. Mm. Continue. The boys were planning. Planning. Uh, to, go to go. To go in. No, no. To go. What was the activity that they planned to do? Sailing to go sailing, yes. Sailing ships. Ah, till sailing ship. Okay, till what? Till when? Till when? To go sailing till till, till when? Tea. Till what time? Till tea. Till tea. Yes, you're right. Till. T. So we will just write tea time so that it is clear. What time do we have uh, tea in the evening? 4 p.m. Yeah, around 4 p.m. So till that time only the children plan to go for go sailing. Understood? Yeah. Yeah. The boys were planning to go sailing till tea till time. Tea time. Yes. Thank you, my dear. Aiden, unmute. Read the fourth one. Aiden, unmute. Read the fourth question. Unmute. Touch the speaker icon one time only. Are you huh? facing? Ah, yes. Read the fourth question. Why? Hmm. Why was the poet? Left. Mm -hmm. L E F T. Left. Left on. on. No, no. On. Alone. Alone. Mm. On the ship. On the ship. Why was the poet left alone on the ship? To hmm. say. Anna Maria, don't touch the screen. Yes. Why was the poet left alone on the ship? Something happened to Tom. That is why the poet was left alone on the ship. Remember the third stanza? Tell me what happened to Tom. The, the Tom fell Not out. Not the. Never add the in front of any name. Tom. Tom. Mm. Tom fell out mm. and hurt his neck. Mm -mm, neck. Is it neck? No. K N E K. K. Knee. 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 Tom fell out of the ship and hurt his knee. Hurt his knee. K N E E, knee. Tom fell out of the ship and hurt his knee. And that is why the poet was left all alone on the ship. So, so there was. So the poet was. The 
poet was left left alone alone mm. that is enough that is enough alone on the ship can be added if you don't add also it's fine because we know that the poet was left alone what was the reason tom fell out of the ship and hurt his knee so the poet was left alone agnel joshi unmute tell me the answer to the first value based question do you think it is safe to play on the stairs like the boys in the poem do you think it is safe to play on the stairs like the boys in the poem is it safe no why what may happen if the children play on the stairs what may happen hmm what may happen if the children play on the stairs mess fell down ah what not fell fall down yes there are chances that the children may fall from the stairs and get hurt that is why children must not play on the stairs okay aknel do you follow that yes hmm yes yes i know <laughs> be careful all of you must be very careful whenever you are playing try to avoid playing at dangerous places where there are chances of you to get hurt all right i want all of you to try and answer the value based question number 2 on your own read it and write the answer on your own we will discuss it in the next class all right thank you very much see you in the next class bye bye